Hi, I'm Pianonimus, a Japanese professional melodica player. Now I have the expertise to answer any question regarding the melodica. I have answered over 2,000 questions from around the world and have experienced teaching over 500 people. You may be surprised this amount of people. However, in Japan, melodica is an instrument used as an elementary school education resource. Therefore, it is said that every family has one instrument. I have around 50 melodicas at home and I may indeed be a melodica holic. And today I would like to talk a little bit about what I call my melodica method, in other words, the melodica philosophy. Since most of you watching this channel already have an interest in the melodica, I will briefly go over the basics regarding the instrument. First off, please watch my movie title, Things I Have Done on the Melodica. What type of an instrument is it? I ask this same question to everyone, including elementary schoolers, professional students, and even 70 years old grandmas. What kind of an instrument is a melodica? First off, it has a keyboard interface, so it is obviously a keyboard instrument. In the past, some melodicas used buttons, while others used levers. However, here, we will only be considering the most generic melodica, so we will just consider it a keyboard instrument. Next, how does this instrument make sound? Yes, it is a wind instrument which makes sound when blown into. And finally, a very important point, elderly people who heard hear a melodica describe it as similar to a harmonica or similar to an accordion. The inside of the melodica looks like this and has this metal plates lined up these plates are called reeds, more specifically, free reeds. In conclusion, summarizing these points we have gone through, a melodica is a keyboard free reed wind instrument. As a disclaimer, this is just my interpretation. Now, I have two questions to ask you. Can you come up with another instrument that has the characteristics of a keyboard free reed wind instrument? Accordina use buttons and harmonium are bellows driven. Once you think about it for a while, you will realize that these are basically no other instrument with the same characteristic as a melodica. This is indeed a very unique instrument. How to make a sound? Now, how does this instrument make sound? Easy, you make sound with air. Sadly, that answer will only get you all 50%. For example, consider a violinist. A violinist hold a bow in their right hand and use the left hand to hold down on the strings. Beginner violinist holds a C position to play a C and the C sharp position to play a C sharp with your finger. But professional violinists may hold a position in between the C and C sharp position in order to create a beautiful portamento or play microtones. Like violinists, as melodica players have the need to perform notes 
in between a C and C sharp. Then how do we produce those notes? The answer is sound is made by adjusting the depth at which we press down the keys on the keyboard. Imagine dividing this one centimeter distance into 100 different parts. Pressing it down 25% or even just 3% uh, of the way down. Equivalent to the thickness of one sheet of paper. Pianists usually press down the key on the melodica for their entire one centimeter depth with great power. However, it is the exact opposite. Power is unnecessary. All you need is the same amount of force you use when you tap and scroll on the smartphone. Most people do not tap on their phones that aggressively. Now these are some questions I have been asked over a hundred times by now. Yamaha or Suzuki, which is better? Which melodica do you recommend? I want to buy the same one. Which one should a beginner buy? And my answer is always the same. It depends on your music. What is it that you want to do? For example, if you go to a computer store and say, I want to the computer you recommend, the store employee will ask this. What do you want to do with your computer? Do you just need it to go on social media, attend emails, and use Microsoft Office? Or uh, will you be playing online games all night long? And in this case, well, what we need to understand is perspective. Basically, we need to understand the meaning of CPU, HDD, memory, etc. There are many perspectives to the melodica. Keyboard strokes, tone, responsiveness of the read, touch, better playing triads or tetraads, how long does it ring after you stop blowing, and much more. Before purchasing one on Amazon, please try test playing a couple just like when you purchase a violin or a sax. Try them out at a musical instrument store. Thankfully, there are not many current products to try out for this instrument. It won't take long to try them all out at store. Unfortunately, there aren't many stores that hold a wide range of models for this instrument. In Tokyo, Japan, the only affiliated instrument shop is Taniguchi Instrument Shop. If you ever travel to Japan, Tokyo, please come visit. To the store employee, I am acquaintance of Pianonymous, and if you are lucky, you may get a discount. Fingering. Let us move on the very important topic of fingering while performing this instrument. Some people try to play it like the piano, however, that is not possible. Just like how rock organist or people who perform the rose or wulitzer use different fingering techniques. Melodica has its own unique fingering technique. Going into depth, unlike the piano, the direction of the instrument interface changes just like this. Also, the width of the keyboard is extremely narrow, and unlike the guitar or piano, the sound is continuous as long as you continue to blow. As you can tell, it is hard to bend your ring finger. In this case, it is okay to put your thumb on the black key. Now, the melodica is extremely free. Playing with both hands. For some reason in Japan, it is popular to play the instrument using both hands. That being said, not many people understand why the instrument should be played this way. Most people probably assume it is just for show. Uh, I hold it like this due to reasons related to accent and fingering. As an example, suppose you want to play a waltz in three quarter time and you want to accent the boom in boom cha cha. On the piano, you will use the weakest finger, the pinky, for the boom note. However, if we hold the instrument with both hands like this, you can use your strongest finger to play the boom note. Obviously, there is certain music that 
that is suitable for this and some that aren't. And it will take a lot of time to arrange and figure this out. Three major points. Number one, consider if this is really a music where well, holding the instrument with both hands makes sense. Always consider the merit and why it should be played on the melodica. Number two, forget about the harmony used in the piano arrangement. Number three, the left thumb cannot be held in place. A time like a surprise spider and a time like a caterpillar. It is important to make sure it is constantly moving. Today, I won't be talking much about how to hold a melodica properly, but it is a very important aspect to consider. It will take three whole days to talk about forms. Everything I have talked about today is just a tiny bit of my method, and by no means are my opinions and thoughts regarding the melodica correct. The instrument is relatively new, and there is no single correct method of performing this instrument. This is one of great things about melodica. In interviews, I often get asked, what makes melodica special? And I always answer, how undeveloped it is. The component and the internal design are undeveloped. The market for sheet music and scene is undeveloped and artists are undeveloped, including myself. Because of how undeveloped it is, it has potential to develop and grow. There is not correct way of growing and playing this instrument. There is high potential hidden in the instrument. Through this movie, I would be more than happy if I were able to share even a little bit of the attractiveness of a melodica. To my melodicaholic friends around the world, thank you very much for watching.